Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to use Relevance AI in order to scrape LinkedIn profiles. What I'm building is something that would match LinkedIn profiles with your given prompt uh, in bulk and Relevance AI after my research is the right tool to do this. So basically what I would like to do is I have already extracted some LinkedIn profiles. This is a part of the other series that I'm working on that basically we um, we do a lot of uh, research on how to do uh, LinkedIn profile profile scraping by going through Crunchbase. Uh, that will be released on my YouTube channel soon. But this particular one is based on these 1040 or 39 LinkedIn profiles that I have here with me. For the sake of their privacy, I'll just keep it away, like showing the actual profile of these people. Um, I already have downloaded this as a CSV file. So this is how you download the CSV file. And then it's now the time to go to Relevance AI. And in Relevance AI, you basically go to Create Tools. And from Create Tools, you can actually build your own or what you can do is you can view templates and then you search for LinkedIn. I will create a lot of more videos in, about Relevance AI covering different topics. Uh, but this particular video that I'm recording will become as a part of complex interface that an AI agent needs profiles and, uh, and it needs to scrape uh, it in bulk and then it uses computer use or operator or uh, the so-called that I'm building called blind clicks in order to do certain things on LinkedIn and outreach and so on. But let's stay focused on this one. So there are multiple different templates available here, but let's go with this one that scrapes basically the personal LinkedIn profile. It has some sequences. The sequences are basically showing the... Uh, okay, let's first clone this um, particular one, this particular project that we got. And now you will see that there are all these sequences. I'll keep it simple. I'll go through it once by, by basically doing it. And then we'll, we'll see the next thing. If I click on use and then I click on run in bulk, then I have an option that I can upload these files. Let's give it uh, some names. Let's say LinkedIn profiles. I think it's LinkedIn profiles is better. And then I can upload this um, CSV file that I've just downloaded. I can upload it here. To be honest, I have never used Relevance AI myself uh, with this bulk uh, entry. So I'm not sure if this can scrape a, a thousand profiles. The reason is because LinkedIn has limits and usually all the other LinkedIn automation tools that I have used before, they use your own token, they use your own profile, and there are certain limits. Now, my assumption is that on in the background, uh, Relevance AI is a grid of like thousands of LinkedIn profiles and it uses that in order to scrape these profiles. I only tried this before recording this video uh, with like 10 profiles that worked like a charm. And now I'm trying to do it with a thousand profiles and we will record the results and see how it goes. Okay, so it's looking for the profile link. Since my CSV only has one link, so I'll get that I mean, one column, I'll just get that column. The rest, everything should be okay. The, the, the template is scrapes all these um, fields, but we'll just keep it like that, it's okay. And continue. The, this is the column of the output that it will create. And this will consume something like 4,000 credits. So for that, in order to understand how much does it cost? So 
on a monthly basis you get 10,000 credits so if 10,000 credits uh, is divided by one sorry 1039 credits is divided by uh, I think it's four credits something per profile scrape so um, it's the way around actually 4156 divided by 10,039 yeah exactly four credits so you can imagine this like you pay $20 for 10,000 credits so your credits worth two cents or even less than oh it's like two pay, zero point zero zero two dollars so since one profile costs you like four credits um then it's eight um it's it's really cheap so it, it is not a factor that we should be really worried about right now so let's save and run the first five of them and it takes some time and I understand why it takes time because it is throttling perhaps in the back end of relevance AI it is using um, multiple uh, accounts like predetermined accounts of dummy accounts on LinkedIn that simulates the workflow using Selenium or Playwright or Puppeteer that goes basically to that one profile and then it scrapes all the data and then brings it back here. Uh, the reason I know it is, or, or I assume it is doing it like that is because I just freshly created this profile. I loaded uh, 10,000, or I subscribed for the pro account, got 10,000 credits, and I've never um, did any sort of um, account integration with my LinkedIn. So it's not using my LinkedIn, it is on the background. And I also assume that this is asynchronous so that if I close the tab, close my laptop, go and come back, it should just work fine. So there we can see that the scraping is ongoing. Meanwhile, this is going on. I will quickly uh, show you guys kind of like a preview of what is what I'm working on. So I have just started um, this YouTube channel where I have a playlist of creating a complex or building an AI agent for bookkeeping and invoice processing uh, where only two of these are recorded, uh, two of the episodes are recorded. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build um, a complex AI agent that automates this software called Dativ. Um, and this is beyond the no-code um, arena. So Dativ is a software like this, and it's really complex. You cannot do it with computer use or with operator. In the first episode, I actually used computer use, and okay, the, the profile scraping is also done. We'll, we'll go back there in just a minute. I just want to show you here, I have mounted computer use from Anthropic, and I was showing this and besides that, I was diagramming and explaining that how we will use this with this so-called blind click. I call it blind click uh, by using Robot.js. <clears throat> and the next episode, the second episode that I have ran, ran um, yesterday, it was released. I also show how I enhanced this diagram. And I have also demoed somewhere here that how I, I can trigger it from Postman, basically, to do certain tasks inside a virtual machine. You can see this is a, um, a browser. This is happening, actually. This is kind of like the same process that computer use is using, or operator. But in this case, it's my code. It is literally an Ubuntu distribution running in so-called webtop and all these clicks and everything is happening from outside so please go ahead and watch this the script right now that i have is in a way that it only automates to go and download an image of the berlin tv tower i'm living in berlin germany so um but this can be enhanced with llm so that it uses computer use and so on 
And the reason I'm showing this in the middle of how to script LinkedIn profiles and relevance is because they are related. What I'm working on is that this particular um, video will become a part of is a LinkedIn um, AI agent that scrapes profiles, gets the latest profiles, and then keeps you updated about uh, relevant comment, relevant posts and comments and so on, and interface it perhaps with WhatsApp or whatever uh, messaging tool that you use, and also use relevance with innate and together so that we can get the best of the both worlds and so on. So I'm going to expand this example further. Um, all right, so we have got this out. Um, to be honest, since the LinkedIn profiles are public, so I'm going to open one of them just to give you an end of what sort of data that you can get. Uh, it's a lot, so let's take it somewhere that we can see. Okay, maybe I'll just paste it here. So we see this much data. Let's get one more person because some people don't put enough profiles on there. So this one, okay, this has a lot of information. So this is the most important information that I'm looking for, the about this part. Um, since they also have these LinkedIn profiles, maybe we can quickly check their LinkedIn profiles and compare it with what we got here. So this this is the part that I'm interested about, and that's what we get, along with a lot of more information. So there is experience. Um, I'm not sure if it can click and scrape the information that is behind this button. Apparently no, because it doesn't show that. Even like only the top two is shown here. Yeah, I think it's only picking the top two experiences. But for this particular bot that I'm building, it's absolutely fine to, to go with that. Alrighty, so let's go to one more profile and then check the next steps. Just to make sure that, yeah, it's, it's all right. Um, although some of them don't have like uh, the about part filled properly. Yeah, it's just that the about part is scientist and entrepreneur, but that's absolutely fine. You you can't force any further information from that. What I will do is right now I'll, I'll let this go um, for the rest of the thousand. Uh, I can click this here and then run on rows that I have and run, run on all rows basically. So now this will take some time and I will record another video to show you how it went on. Um, perhaps in order for this video to be easy to go, uh, I will just create like um, this one as an individual video and upload it on my YouTube. And then when I use it for the next steps, then I will just basically reference it. Thank you for your attention. All right, let's check the current status of this. It has been like 10 minutes or so that it's running. I can see some of them are done. Well, overall it says 90, 10% done. Seven failed. That's nice. Um, we'll research why they failed. Okay, there's maybe that, that LinkedIn profile do not exist anymore. There is a 404. Yeah, true. So that's good. The quality and everything we'll check later on once that everything is done. So as I assumed, I was like on other pages and working and editing the video and so on. Um, and this thing kept running. So it's running on their servers. It's not using my authentication token. And this is the best LinkedIn scraper that is out there because it can work at scale. And also it doesn't use my account. So I'm not worried about being banned by LinkedIn or something. 
So I'll, I'll keep recording the next steps as it moves on to the next pages and I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks. All right, so this is a couple of hours after the job was initiated. So let's go and check the profiles three hours later. What's the current status? So we have built ourselves a database here. <clears throat> Apparently, uh, what I meant by a database is a table. Apparently, all of them are done. Looks good to me. I'm not sure if it provides a detailed report of how many errors happened because we saw some errors happening. Let's actually download it and CSV and see it ourselves how many from 1040 or 39, how many of them are done. I'm not sure why this process is super slow. Okay, it's done. <clears throat> Let's create a new sheet, import, must be this one, nope, it's this one, 1110, 2.7 MB, that's a lot of, replace current sheet, 2.7 MB is a lot of text. So it apparently got enough data for us. Let's just keep it like this. Okay, um, what I'm interested in is to put some filters to see how many data points were uh, so it doesn't have any empty. This might have some empty. There we go. And if I remove that, I have got 947 of them pretty much in detail. That is really good. And the amount of data it brought, it is very good for an LLM to digest and then create personalized messages, um, run certain filters and do things that you could not do easily without having this data set in the first place. So that was the very quick gist of showing you how easy it is to build something like this with um, with Relevance AI. I will build another video tutorial that will basically sit on the top of this and utilize the benefits of this extraction and then build something with this. Um, the idea I have in mind is that the AI agent will basically um, do some sort of shortlisting for you uh, so that you can take it and then do your outreach yourself or using an existing uh, tool. For example, I use Walexy um, and I will basically document the next episode of this video by first filtering these 1000 people to the ones that I think they will be relevant to me and then I will put it on Walexy. Thank you for watching this.